about me first. Uh, I'm Ashok Saxena. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineering graduate from Banaras University, known as uh, IIT BHU. I spent nearly 40 years in the aerospace and aviation industry. I joined HEL, Industrial Aeronautics Limited, and worked in various capacities in various parts of the country, from Asik, Lucknow, Bangalore, <coughs> and I was also a diplomat at uh, Moscow, Indian Embassy at Moscow, looking after the aerospace and uh, in relationship between India and erstwhile Soviet Union. And uh, <coughs> I was on professional bodies. I was uh, uh, vice chairman of the Karnataka CII. I was president, vice president of, at national level of the Karnataka Society of India. I am on the National Council of uh, All India Institute, uh, IMA. Uh, I was heading the Bangalore Management Association here, and I am uh, in the presently in the BCIC, Bangalore Chamber of Industry and Commerce, and various professional bodies of Bangalore. I am on the board of various companies uh, of aerospace and aviation, and Bangalore Chamber of Industry and Commerce. I have given a boost actually in the promotion of uh, aerospace and aviation uh, in state of Karnataka. I have given a vision document to government of Karnataka in the year 2005-2006 when I was vice chairman of Karnataka CII. My vision to the government of Karnataka was uh, <coughs> Aerospace Aviation Hub 2015 Karnataka. That was the, the global aerospace hub. So the whole uh, development of aerospace aviation is coming up on the basis of that uh, vision document. Uh, the aerospace technology part, which has come near Devanali, is also one of the five contributions. Uh, <coughs> I had felt uh, in my career and also seeing the industry and the growth of aerospace aviation in our country that there is a diff very difficult situation going to come when we will need the skilled manpower in aerospace aviation in a very big way. And from Bangalore Chamber of Industry and Commerce, we took the initiative under the Prime Minister's uh, program of Skill India, uh, uh, under the ages of uh, NSDC, promotion or creation, rather creation of uh, Aerospace Aviation Sector Skill Council, and I am one of the founding fathers of that uh, Aerospace Aviation Sector Council. It is in operation now, and we have identified various skill sets uh, under that uh, Aerospace Aviation Sector Skill Council to train the skilled manpower for the country and also for the global requirement. Uh, there will be a time when the world will need a lot of skilled manpower in Europe, America and other places because of their aging population and not many people coming to uh, take up the aerospace aviation. And India could be a powerhouse actually for the export of the skilled manpower in aerospace aviation because of uh, uh, young population and because of its low cost also. So these are some of the things which uh, I think uh, I have contributed uh, very largely uh, uh, for the promotion of aerospace and aviation in our country. This happens to be my passion actually, although I came out of the industry uh, from HL in 2007, but even at this time of uh, my uh, life, I am promoting, progressing everything what we can do because India needs India India needs a due place due place in the aerospace and aviation world and therefore my my sincere efforts towards this as far as uh, today's event or con is concerned uh, <coughs> India's uh, aerospace and aviation is growing at a very very uh, fast rate and as I said in my as in my speech also that uh, if the country's, uh, country's economy is growing at a certain percentage, the growth of uh, aviation will be at least 2.5 to 3 times. And <coughs> uh, it is visible actually, uh, if you see the history of uh, uh, the development of the civil aviation uh, over the last decade, there is exponential growth in the civil aviation. Uh, and once the civil aviation grows, that means uh, all the things like airports, etc., etc., will also and the theme of this session, the theme of this event, that the modernization of uh, uh, airports, actually it is not only the modernization, the growth and expansion of the uh, airports in our country and government of India's initiative, particularly on the Udan and the regional connectivity scheme, has given a great, great boost to the tier 1 and tier 2 cities 
where the airports are required to be revived, revived and created actually. And therefore, this event uh, is quite uh, timely, I would say. Uh, uh, the Udan scheme, Udan scheme of the government, uh, AI uh, Airport Authority of India has already declared nearly uh, 400 uh, airport airstrips, civil enclave, military bases, etc., for uh, being used for uh, Udan scheme. And this will give the boost to the economy of uh, tier 1 and tier 2 cities and also to the aviation uh, industry uh, at large. Uh, <clears throat> earlier, the growth of the aviation was only limited to the metro cities, like uh, all the metro cities. And uh, there is a lot of pressure coming on these metro cities also. There are some six top, which I had mentioned in my uh, uh, presentation also. There are six busiest airports of our country, starting from uh, Delhi. Delhi is the busiest, next to Mumbai, next is uh, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, and Kolkata. There is severe pressure on these airports. So there is a need for actually the uh, uh, other airports also to come up. And uh, once the airport start coming up and uh, the technology uh, is improved, uh, the loads on these airports will come down. There is a need actually for these six, I would say the 10, 15 airports which are very, very busy. Uh, government of India should think actually of creating a similar type of airport uh, for at least for the first six busiest airports of our country. Uh, Bangalore needs immediately. Uh, of course, uh, Mumbai is have, going to have another Navi Mumbai. And Delhi is, uh, of course, uh, is already busiest airport of our country. And Jewa, which is coming up at Ghaziabad district at, uh, in the UP, I think that will ease the pressure and also bring the development of that area very, very rapidly. Uh, same is the requirement, same will be the requirement for the Chennai and also Kolkata and Hyderabad also. So, Government of India should start thinking of creating a similar type of airport for uh, this. Uh, and uh, in, while designing or expanding the present airport, uh, which will increase the capacities, certain important things are to be uh, kept into mind and which is uh, which I highlighted during my uh, talk. Uh, <clears throat> there are at least uh, green airports requirement, alternate use of uh, uh, the optimization of the water harvesting, what, uh, what our Prime Minister is also emphasizing, uh, use of the natural resources for energy generation, minimizing the waste, recycling of the waste, uh, intermodality uh, of uh, transportation, etc. etc. These were the some of the highlights, uh, making the runways uh, uh, precision approach, uh, runways to avoid accidents and incidents, and uh, safety of the passengers, safety of the aircraft, safety of the cargo, all these things are there which are to be considered by the, uh, 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 by the designers and the constructor of the airport uh, over a period of time, uh, either in expansion or in the construction of the new airport. Uh, <clears throat> these are some of the things which I thought that uh, have got to be, uh, to be brought to the notice and uh, uh, aviation is one discipline which creates jobs in a very very big way and therefore if proper uh, planning and strategies are done uh, by the planners of the policies and the, um, of the airports, airlines, operations etc. Et I think uh, the country will be very very hugely benefited. Uh, uh, and, uh, India will find its place. India is going to be the third largest uh, market, aviation market in the world by 2024. We are already for the domestic traffic, we are already uh, uh, third in the world. Uh, but by 2024, we will become the third largest. And I think by 2030 or 2035, we, we may be the number two or number one. So there is a, there is a great potential in the development of uh, aviation industry. Uh, whether it is airport, whether it is operations, whether it is... Uh, there are so many disciplines actually. It will create, it will create employment, it will spur the economy of the country and the young, the young population of our country, which is the, which is the key source of actually, of uh, our uh, strength. Uh, we are the, as all of us know, that 65% of the population uh, in our country is below 35 years of age. Whereas the world is aging, we are becoming younger and younger nation. And it's a young, young talent, young brain, creative brains, 
and India is the right, right country. We have got the right ecosystem now. We have got the right uh, type of uh, uh, leadership in the country. And I think with, with all that, if we synergize and focus, we will be the champions, we will be the lead aerospace aviation country of the world.